I am of certain convinced that the greatest heroes are those who do their duty in the daily grind of domestic affairs whilst the world whirls as a maddening dreidel. Rather, ten times, die in the surf, heralding the way to a new world, than stand idly on the shore. You ask me why I do not write something. I think one's feelings waste themselves in words, they ought all to be distilled into actions and into actions which bring results. The very first requirement in a hospital is that it should do the sick no harm. Live life when you have it. Life is a splendid gift there is nothing small about it. Let whoever is in charge keep this simple question in her head not, nah, how can I always do this right thing myself, but how can I provide for this right thing to be always done? To understand God's thoughts we must study statistics, for these are the measure of his purpose. So never lose an opportunity of urging a practical beginning, however small, for it is wonderful how often in such matters the mustard seed germinates and roots itself. The martyr sacrifices herself entirely in vain, or rather not in vain, for she makes the selfish more selfish, the lazy more lazy, the narrow narrower. Every woman, or at least almost every woman, in England has, at one time or another of her life, charge of the personal health of somebody, whether child or invalid, in other words, every woman is a nurse. To attempt to keep a ward warm at the expense of making the sick repeatedly breathe their own hot, humid, putressing atmosphere is a certain way to delay recovery or to destroy life. A woman cannot live in the light of intellect. Society forbids it. Those conventional frivolities, which are called her duties, forbid it. Her domestic duties, high-sounding words, which, for the most part, are but bad habits which she has not the courage to enfranchise herself from, the strength to break through, forbid it.